that volunteers are what make Chatham work. Without volunteers, this town would not be able to exist. So today we want to recognize some volunteers who have gone above and beyond. And I will uh, do them in alphabetical order and uh, I will read the commendations that we have prepared for each of them. So the first one is a, a youngster, at least compared to me, Paul Dannenberg. Whereas Paul Dannenberg has volunteered and worked as a young adult volunteer above and beyond the usual dedication of borough volunteers, and whereas Paul Dannenberg has served tirelessly as chairman of the Junior Volunteer League and has logged over 200 community service hours during each of his freshman and sophomore years as a member and treasurer of the Chatham High School Key Club, and whereas Paul Dannenberg has a unique desire and far-reaching, passionate understanding of community service above and beyond himself, whereas Paul Dannenberg has spent innumerable hours working unremittingly to better the community of Chatham through the planning and execution of the Farmer's Market Youth Junior League, Spring Cleanup, and Fish and Black Festival Volunteer, while encouraging his peers to participate likewise. Whereas <laughs> Mary Kesalika has volunteered and worked as a Chatham volunteer above and beyond the usual dedication of Chatham Borough volunteers since 1977. And whereas Mary Kesalika has altruistically shared her love of gardening with the community, making the borough a more attractive and decorated town. And whereas Mary Kesalika has served tirelessly on the governing committee of the Town and Country Garden Club since 2006, holding several offices, including president, vice president, treasurer, and program chair, while continuing to maintain a leadership role on the governing committee of the Chatham Community Garden, and still preserves a plot at the community garden, mentoring other plot holders through a master gardener certification from Rutgers. Well done, congratulations. Whereas Ben Lampert has served as a commissioner of the borough's environmental commission. Whereas Ben Lampert has spent innumerable hours working tirelessly to develop the borough's pilot program of recycling supermarket plastic bags as well as other plastic bags, such as sandwich bags, freezer bags, and others. Whereas Ben Lampert continues to work diligently and plan for the borough to have Trex, a plastic bag recycler, furnish the borough with a park bench made of recycled plastic bags. Still collecting plastic bags at the recycling right? Okay. Helen Ann Rosenfeld has served tirelessly on the Chatham Historical Society as a member since 2009, and later in 2015 as president, organizing annual educational conferences and fundraising initiatives for the Historical Society and public. And whereas Helen Ann Roosevelt, through an Adopt the House program, spent innumerable hours researching over 30 historical Chatham homes, which led to the development of the self-guided walking tour, the sites, and the people of Fairmount Avenue. Her research included the Parrot Mill House and Mill, Shepherd Colic Park, the current and previous Borough Hall buildings. And whereas Helen Ann Roosevelt served on the Train Station Centennial Committee and Tricentennial Celebration Committee, researching the history of Chatham Borough back to its settling and created history booklets, calendars, and puzzles to educate, celebrate, and share the community's rich history. <laughs> and whereas Colleen Trupo currently serves as the chair of the Shade Tree Commission, leading the commission in its mission to create and maintain optimal tree cover and species diversity in the borough, while keeping up a pruning and removal program that will keep our streets and parks safe. And whereas Colleen Fuqua has spent innumerable hours working tirelessly to help develop and promote a comprehensive urban forestry program and organize an annual Arbor Day celebration for all citizens to take part in and enjoy each year. Once again, thank all of these volunteers and all of the other volunteers, the dozens of volunteers who helped make Chatham possible.